So today's fix has to do with my pool fountain. And no, my pool fountain actually doesn't look like this. It's maybe a little better than this. It looks like this. And um, last year it was working great, but this year suddenly it stopped working. So um, I was trying to figure out why the pump was not running. The pump is actually tied into the pool cover somehow, because if the pool cover um, wasn't retracted all the way, the pool, uh, the pump, the fountain pump wouldn't run. And so why is that important? Why would you do that? Well, if you don't do that, you might end up with something that looks like this because you might run the fountain on top of the cover. So I figured it was time to open up the uh, Aqualink box and peek inside. Okay, so into the box we go, but wait, there's high voltage in this box. So uh, make sure you're comfortable working with high voltage equipment and also, of course, turn off the breaker so, there's, uh, so there is no high voltage in there while you're working. So uh, inside the box, about the bottom two thirds, uh, is the high voltage section, and that's where these relays are. Those are the dark rectangles with all the black and red wires um, connecting up. And um, it was fairly easy to follow the wires from the fountain pump back into this box and see which relay uh, controls the fountain pump. And then uh, check with a, mul a multimeter to see whether or not there was power, and there was not. Um, so then with a relay, of course, you can go back and check uh, the coil uh, to see if the coil has been energized and uh, when I checked the lugs on the relay for the coil um, which are these two top screws here um, those were not energized either so uh, so the question is why because uh, as far as the control system goes this thing should be turned on so when I follow the uh, wires going to the relay back I find that they are not entirely coming from the Aqualink system uh, one of them has uh, taken a little side trip and goes down this other pair of wires um, into the ground. Okay, so here's the theory. The uh, Aqualink control wants to charge up the relay for the fountain pump, and it sends uh, its signal, uh, one, one end of the signal to the relay, and then the other end ends up going into the ground all the way over to the cover and then through this reed switch um, that uh, triggers when the cover is fully opened. Um, of course, once that's closed, because the cover has been opened, then the uh, connection's made and the relay will, will actually activate, and uh, then the pump relay will work. So that's the idea. So I went over to the pool cover and uh, took a look at that. And indeed, right there uh, at the, uh, the edge of the pool cover is a sensor. And it uh, looks like the same set of wires, um, black and, and red coming in and I checked it for continuity. Indeed, it was the same set of wires. Um, so then I pulled the sensor out, um, which is a bit of a trick. It, you see the sensor here uh, is on top. You can also fit it underneath, which is where it was originally. This is the new one that you see in this picture. But uh, once I removed the old sensor, um, I was able to test it and indeed found that it wasn't working properly. Th these sensors are, are magnetic reed sensors and uh, they will be either normally open or normally closed. Um, these are normally open, and so they are only closed when they come in the presence of a magnet within perhaps uh, a, a half an inch or maybe an inch. And so you may ask, where's that magnet? Well, uh, the magnet is actually sewn into the pool cover itself. It's in that, the very edge of the webbing. So when the pool cover is fully retracted, the magnet goes right underneath that sensor, and that's when uh, that's how the equipment knows that the uh, pool cover has been fully retracted. So once I removed the sensor, uh, the old sensor, and uh, uh, I was able to put a magnet close to it and it showed that it was bad. So I, I found a replacement at DigiKey and I put the link down below. And it's a really straightforward thing to wire up because it's just uh, two wires. Um, and so I wired, uh, used wire nuts, as you can see in the picture, uh, to wire that into the system. And once I did that, uh, everything fired right up and worked great. So I hope this helps someone. Uh, feel free to leave comments. Thanks.